it's been, it's been some blessings. We are the Mohammeds, the resident of tourists. We're 85 to Africa. We are living in the after. I know I'm shouting. It's pretty noisy. We're in Africa. We in, <laughs> we in Mombasa. We in these streets, okay? All right. We want to show you these streets. Yes? Yes. City so, walk tour right here. So a really brief, <laughs> a brief walk in, uh, in, in the Glen Yali, okay? Uh, but we're in a more busier portion of the Nyali area. I don't know. We're learning it. So we want to kind of show you, you know, how, how to get down here. We want to show you some of the... Just, we just want to show you some stuff, all right? All right, so here we go. Some activity, as you can see, right? Normal. It's morning time. About to hit the afternoon. But I want you, we want you to take notice of something, right? All right, so... Here we are right here, and, and and hold on. Here we are right here, right? Trying to get over there. All right, so it's going to be really interesting. <laughs> it's going to be very interesting for us to try to get from where we are, standing right here, to over across the street. And once we get over there, I'm going to explain to you why it's a challenge and why it's very interesting, all right? All right, so I'm gonna shut this down so we can be safe crossing the street. All right, all right, so we made it across the street. <laughs> we made it across. But, so here's the thing though. The thing is, oh Lord, I'm a, I'm a little shook. So let me, let me, let me, let us be careful. Here's the thing, two things, two things, right? The two things are this. One is, they drive on the opposite side of the street that we are accustomed to, that we're used to, all right? So crossing the street is based on what we understand as far as how the cars maneuver on whatever side of the street. So it, it's not working. <laughs> it's not working for us. So it's very challenging trying to cross the street here in Kenya, okay? Second thing, don't really have much sidewalk. So you half in the street and half not in the street as you're moving and walking about, okay? So there's some challenges there, but no worries. You're gonna make it, right? My wife is like, let's get going. <laughs> okay, here we go. The things we didn't know that we would miss that we do miss about Rhonda is they're very 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 clean um, to walk anywhere and see very minimal trash like even their rain guards you'll see the people in there every day all day keeping the rain guards clean um, because you know Rhonda has heavy rains you don't want it to get clogged but just period just make sure there's no trash in there Having a little challenge here, Mombasa. <laughs> <laughs> not as not as clean in, 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 in here in Mombasa. I'm looking at some the, the, the rain guards alone. Mm -mm, making me nauseous. But some things that could be improved that the city could actually make money or make a major investment in would be some power washing. Big power washing companies that might want to, you know established here because of the salt water and how it affects the building materials there's like rust all over the place or the mold or the, or the water residue it's all over the place which takes away from the beauty and then of course some cleaning invest in cleaning companies here or, or putting people and, and the people and putting them to work so that they have an income and it could be strictly just keeping the city in the streets of Mombasa and Kenya. But we're talking about Mombasa here. I mean, not Kenya, Nairobi. But Mombasa here keeping the streets clean. And that's income for the people. And it helps to beautify the city, be more, attract uh, more attractive to the tourists. And for the people that live there. Because it's so beautiful, but it's like, um, just these small things that they could work on and it'll bring income for the community.
Okay, so continuing in our day, the Muhammad's were on our way, and uh, we're gonna, you know, take in some more activities. But our, our means of and mode of transportation, we're gonna hit this tuk tuk, right? It's the best way to go for a couple reasons quick, fast, and inexpensive. That's three. <laughs> so here we go, our man right there, he's gonna check us out. All right, all right. <laughs> no, that's not. All right, we're getting in. No, no, no. Um, We're going to Roberto's. Roberto's. You know? Yeah. Okay. All right. So once again, we're back in the tuk tuk. Okay. And um, we had to rev it up. It's gonna get a little loud, but it's okay. It's funny because we've been here six weeks and people keep stopping us. Yeah. You know. That's, yeah. that's a good thing. That's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. All right, so let's let's look at the scene. Let's see if you can see inside the tuk-tuk and probably that tuk is like a, one of those roller coasters from back in the day. <laughs> you hear all that clicking, clicking, <laughs> and you are okay now. All right, check it out. Yeah. Okay, so this afternoon we've decided to take a take a, a look at this Italian. You heard me right. Italian restaurant, okay? And I learned about this particular restaurant uh, when I came um, separate from my wife to kind of do a recon mission. And one of the Tuk Tuk drivers, interestingly enough, uh, had pointed this place out and said it had been here for like years. I think he said like 20, 20 something years, something like that. Uh, it's called Roberto's, and uh, ever since um, we've been wanting to, you know, check it out. I mean, we found it interesting that you know we're in Africa and there's an Italian restaurant, right? Italian food is among one of my favorite types of food. So I said, okay, one day we're going to check it out. So today's the day. My wife has been wanting to get here for some for some time, and uh, we're going to check it out. You know, we we'll let you know how uh, how it is for sure. And uh, hopefully it's enjoyable. And if it is, if and when you come to Mombasa or if you're already here, you heard it first from the residential tourists and get your well, grub well, on. We, we haven't eaten there yet. So. That's what I'm saying. We'll if. Let you know. I okay. said if. The operative word I said was if. But we're going to let you know. know. I'm very particular. You know, she's going to give you the... the, the, the that cheese don't be right. <laughs> it's all about the cheese. That cheese ain't right. <laughs> If the cheese ain't got the, the right degree of meltation. <laughs> I'm going to go back there and show them how to make real Italian I'm a, food. And she'll, she'll, she'll tell you straight up. For me, if it ain't nasty. That's it. If it ain't nasty. It's good. good. I'm okay. All right. I don't like it enough. Ma'am, take this. This is not right. So you might get the, you got, you might get the take back version. But we we'll hopefully not. You'll Start we'll saying edit. my Kenya Ronda words. <laughs> All right. Here we go.
Okay, so we are uh, inside seated. Uh, we just received the menu, but let you take a look at it. You see, mm, it's nice. So I hadn't seen it yet. My wife's just looking at it. So I'm predicting he's going to get this salmon uh, penne <laughs> with smoked salmon and fresh cream. That's what I'm predicting. It's, you know, I, think it, I don't. I, I stick with what I know. If I like it, I'm gonna stay with it, and I'm good. So I ain't trying to let you too far out. So she might be right about that. Yeah, and I'm thinking about this eggplant parmesan, but I still need some kind of meat. And if you're wondering why we're talking kind of in a way, like in a shared space, but it's secluded, it's AC, you know, so we don't want to be too boisterous or loud. Probably hear the background, background, uh, background of the folk, but it's a pretty intimate spot, so. Nonetheless, we're gonna, uh, you know, see, you know, what Roberto has Roberto in store for us. Roberto. 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 <laughs> All right, here we go. things here so my wife wanted a particular type of salad dressing right didn't have it so I'm telling you it's a whole thing when we go out to eat you don't know the half of it okay <laughs> so she doesn't have it bring she, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you okay she's gonna break it down for you okay all right this one that's one point I'm gonna finish with that I'm gonna bring it to the next here we go well I love my salads okay can't hear you. Mrs. I Mahler. love my salads, and so far, Fonda, Kenya, Tanzania, they only want to use oil and vinegar. Thank you. So the easiest thing to do is ask them to give you some honey. Hold on, let me show you. Let me show you. So, 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 here's the honey. She, 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 she gonna create her own dressing. Some mustard. Yeah, some mustard. What kind of mustard is that? It's regular, but yeah, I like to use regular ye uh, yellow mustard. Like some people like spicy honey mustard, so don't use the spicy mustard. Alright, uh, uh, so you got the honey. Honey, mustard, some mayonnaise, and some mayo. And then we're gonna put a little garlic in there. Just a little bit. And of course, some pepper. And just a little bit of vinegar. Y'all see this? No, I need my salad to be right. <laughs> you know, like I said, like, oh, yeah, Y'all see that? Look at that. That's red lobster honey mustard. And I'm not, I'm not embarrassed. I gotta make it's my stuff no right. Shame. It's no shame. No? <laughs> it's no shame. No, because I really want this salad. And I hate having salad with oil and vinegar. It annoys me. So there's absolutely no, no shame in this, in this food. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm, 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 she's easy about this. And I'm happy. <laughs> this is no fuss. He brought me what I needed, so I like that. So I'm cool, I'll ride with this for sure. So as she creates her concoction, we'll see if it's all together what she is intending it, for it to be. We'll okay. see. Taste. Slam it. That's why you married a chef. I mean, I, hey, I'm, I'm cool. All right, so here's the other thing. Let me show you. So virgin mojito, right? Mm -hmm. Right? That's that's her that's her thing. So you That's said, signature so, drink. so you tasted it. It's Mendoza. So she still got the Kenya around and she's trying to, <laughs> so. Oh, I'm <laughs> Swahili, isn't it? 
so it's good. So that's a, that's another that's that's a plus. That's a plus. <laughs> so you guys keep y'all want to come and hang out with the mom and y'all keep inviting us to dinner and lunch. My signature drink is Virgin Mojitos. Say let's go out for a drink. I'm happy. <laughs> the disclaimer though is extra sweet. Extra sweet and what? Little ice. Little ice. The other disclaimer is a good chance that when she receives the food, something's not going to be right. <laughs> she's going to probably, not probably, she's going to make it known. I'm very tactful. I just say, I'm not saying it. Um, <laughs> I'm not saying she's not tactful. But I don't get I don't I don't necessarily jump to the level of excitement until after she takes her bite. When she takes her bite and I look at her expression, I can tell from that which way it's gonna go. So we're hoping today <laughs> when she takes so far so good. Even though they didn't have the dressing that she wanted, they accommodated her. She was able to do her thing. So when the rest of the food comes, we're going to see for sure. All right? So far, it's honey mustard. A little garlic, mustard, honey, mayonnaise. And it tastes, it tastes, she, so she's a chef, so she knows how to do that stuff. But it tastes really good. Okay. So <laughs> I decided to bring this so that to avoid the, a lot of complications there. Yeah. So this one I can take now? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Ah, look at this beautiful salad. It's a nice size. It's pretty. Nice. What type of salad is this? It's a, their Greek or Greca salad with it's grilled Greek. chicken. You added the grilled chicken. Mm -hmm. All right. So, as you can see, it's a nice portion size salad. You see that dressing? Nice and thick. And <laughs> She's <laughs> savory. It does mm -hmm. look. It looks good. Yeah. It does yeah. look good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just the right amount, too, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'm going to eat from that. So far, it seems to be a bit of satis satisfaction going on. Oh, come uh, on. Nice size. I'm talking about all the way around. I'm not just talking about you. I'm talking about all the way around. You know, so far, we're, we're, we're really enjoying uh, the experience thus far. Um, and we're about to take the first taste of what it is that they have that we ordered. So we'll see, all right, we'll see. I'm gonna let her do it. Look, the, the, okay, so here, <laughs> so now watch the expression. <laughs> That's the part, you gotta watch the expression. Mm -hmm. uh, you got the head nod. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Actually one of the best salad dressings I've ever made. Say that again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said what, well, all right. You taste it and tell them. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, they don't want. They know I'm. I'm, I'm easy going. I don't want, you but know. you know when something's really good. All right, I'm gonna taste it. All right, but we got the official head nod from the chef. It's an visa. So far. All right. All right. Yeah, it's. It's all that. <laughs> it's good. Mm-hmm. And I gotta say, I mean, because you got the works in there. You got the tomatoes, the big chunks of tomatoes. Really good soft feta cheese. Soft feta cheese. Black, black olives. Black olives, cucumbers. And, uh, but yes. I, I gotta say, it was that dressing that, that hit it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dressing that you makes it. gotta have the right dressing. So, all right. Touche. All right, I'm gonna go back and get some of this. I was round one. It was a TKO. It's a total knockout. I'm gonna show you. That joint is gone. <laughs> we dusted that. I'm trying to really. I'm trying to be nice. I want to sop up that uh, that dressing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so this particular dressing. All right. It really needs to be bottled up. 
it's a hint. So any investors out there <laughs> looking for something. Okay. I've been realizing, I keep talking about it, that I should do a salad dressing line. Because um, as we're here so far in East Africa, salad dressing is not really a big thing. But you have all these different expats, people coming from all over the world. Salad dressing is a big thing for us. So I'm thinking about it. So she had, so some of you may know, who know us. <clears throat> Once upon a time, she had her own soup line, right? <laughs> now those that know, like know. Right, and that's that's how I got started. Or the yeah. little gourmet soups, <laughs> and it was jarred it up. But that's actually how we met. Really, mm -hmm. that's really how we like officially met and exchanged. But that's a whole other topic, right? So she had this soup line, and honest to God, if she would have continued, you probably would have seen it in your local supermarket. Because it was just that good. And again, back me up, y'all. Those that know, I need to hear you echo what I'm saying in the comments. <laughs> Listen, I kind of got mad because I was being known as the soup lady. And I was like, I don't want to be known as the soup lady. I don't want to make soup anymore. So, she could have, she, look, she could have... You know, took that on the chin. Mm -hmm. She she could have been ching ching it. <laughs> Whatever. But anyway, I say all of that to say is that the possibility of a salad dressing line, because as my wife said, it's kind of lacking. We've seen the variety of salad dressing a lot of times. I mean, they're out there. Even in the stores. You don't really see them in the stores, and if they are, it's like a watered-down version. It's like a... I don't know what it is. It's like everything's it's like a, mayonnaise. A, yeah, mayonnaise, vinegar-based, based, everything. <laughs> so you get more of that. Mm. You don't really get... So anyway. <laughs> so, we're just putting it out there. All right? Just putting it out there. So, all right, and let me say this to Mr. Roberto. Okay? <laughs> Should you want to have this <laughs> concoction? I'm gonna say that for now. See, he was talking about me, but look at him now promoting it. So, just holler at us. Just give us a holler. <laughs> <laughs> we can make it available for the rest of your guests and customers. All right. <laughs> just joking. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Tell your chef that's the best salad dressing. It was a really good salad. Really, really good. <laughs> Here we go. All right, yes, sir. All right, got my salmon. I would have salmon pasta, cream sauce. All right, I don't know. <laughs> she got her eggplant parmesan. <laughs> Let's see. That don't look like it. All right. Where's the cheese? And it's overcooked. Y'all yeah, see? Y'all yeah, see? Yeah, see? I don't even take my bite yet until she get, mm -hmm. <laughs> until she get hers in. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Like Where's the parmesan? Here she go. Here she go. Just. No, I don't want it. Try you ain't even gonna taste it. No, I, I water it for the parmesan, not for the eggplant. Okay. This is overcooked and there's no cheese on it. Did I tell you? I told you earlier. I'm it's sorry. all about the cheese. <laughs> it ain't it's all about the cheese. So, all right. Excuse me. Here we go. All right, we'll holler at you later. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, look. <laughs> so, I'm glad. Because y'all are my witnesses. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, look. Let me show you. Let me show you where the plate is, right? It ain't there. <laughs> so... I don't want to be 
like this. It, uh, it's very hard. It's very hard, but when I'm looking at stuff that's burnt and greasy and no cheese, and I'm in an Italian restaurant, take it back. So the plate has been taken back to be substituted, okay? So we're going to try this a second go round for her. <laughs> see, see what happens, okay? Again, you heard before, you know, chef, it's a gift and it's a curse. Well, I'm good. Mine's just, it's because it's not nasty. No, so it's, you'll it's, eat it's it. really good. I taste good. The salmon is good. The penne is good. The cream is it's good. Let me see. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Let me, let me cut the camera off. No, no, no. Let, <laughs> let's see. This, this don't look like good. Did you put all the salt in it? I did. Put good some salt. God. But it's good, yes? Because you added that salt. Well, it don't matter. You put salt on stuff, but it's good. I'm good. See, the, the, here's the key. Here's the secret. Find something. Mm -mm. You find something that you that you can rock with, and you just stick with it. You just stay right there. Mm -mm. And you can never, ever, ever be disappointed. You need some of this garlic in there and some chili. All right, here we go. Anyway, second go round. We'll see how that. We'll see how that goes down. But yeah. you're all witnesses. You're witnesses to what I experience all the time. But I love it at that. <laughs> this is what now. This is the. What is this? The vegetable. Yeah, I'm great. Thank you. Mm -mm. Hello. This is the vegetable lasagna. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. The second go around. <laughs> Let us see. Let us see. It's more like a vegetable Popeye. the head nod, uh-oh. It's not it. Mm -mm. It's not it. It's not it, family. The funny thing is, when we were in Italy, that food wasn't good either. Well, that's true. We were, so we were a bit surprised. Being in, in, in actually in Italy, but they told us we were in the tourist area, so you know, if we would have went more, what did they say, somewhere uh, outside yeah, the yeah. tourist area, or like in the south, or in south the southern, Italy. yeah, south Italy, then we would have got what we were expecting and anticipating. Yeah, the only thing that was good in Italy was the pizza. Oh, and the gelato. The food, the gelato is jumping. This, this watery, they didn't drain the vegetables. This is not the spot. What can you say? One time. <laughs> so one and done. This Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so family, we had our experience there, Roberto's. All right, so we're gonna give it to you straight, give it to you raw, give it to you like what it is, okay? Um, we both had different food experiences. I'm gonna put it like that. Um, but you know, I'm always looking for the settle, settle on the best part of everything. It's too nasty. My food disgusting. My food wasn't like nasty. It was nasty. It was for, for her, it was, it was good. Milk noodles. So we're gonna keep it positive, right? So mm -hmm. this is this is what it is. Very great environment. Really good, ex you know, Italian feel. The layout and everything was really, really just as you would expect for an Italian restaurant, right? Service was nice. Service was really good. 
um, everything. All of that was good. Now, the food, though, right? That's where the lines got to kind of cross there, right? The food experience wasn't necessarily what we had anticipated and wanted, right? The food, mine was it was cool. It was okay. Hers, not so. <laughs> so even the replacement was worse than the first thing. So I they. Quit. So she quit. So I usually will give a place another chance. But there's, there's two chances in one shot right here. All right. So for me, it's not authentic. It's not an authentic Italian taste. I didn't get an authentic Italian vibe. There's no music. There's no actual. It was. You know. All right. I give one thumb up. I think she gives two thumbs down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well there you have it. That's not on the must. That's not on your must-see list. All right, here we go. All right, peace and bless.